What's something people don't know about the Mahakum in Prayagraj? This grand festival, held every 12 years, is not just an event. It is a phenomenon that transcends time and space. It's the largest spiritual gathering in the world, attracting millions of devotees from every corner of India and beyond. The sheer scale of the event is awe-inspiring, with people from all walks of life coming together in a shared expression of faith. Devotees from across India and beyond, from the bustling cities to the quiet villages, make their way to this sacred site. They come with hopes, prayers and a deep sense of devotion, believing that a dip in the holy waters will cleanse their souls. They come to take a dip in the sacred confluence of the Ganga Yamuna and the mythical Saraswati, a place believed to be imbued with divine energy. This act of bathing is not just a ritual, it is a profound spiritual experience for many. The confluence, known as the Sangam, is where these three rivers meet, creating a powerful spiritual nexus. The Ganga and Yamuna are real flowing rivers, while the Saraswati is said to be a hidden, mystical river that surfaces only at this sacred spot. Believing it purifies their sins, devotees immerse themselves in the waters, performing rituals that have been passed down through generations. But in 2025, a question loomed large over this sacred practice. Was the water truly clean? Or was the faith of millions being tested by the harsh reality of pollution? This question sparked a debate that reached far beyond the banks of the rivers. Or was faith being tested by pollution? The sight of floating debris and the reports of water contamination raised serious concerns. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, recent water quality tests showed that the coliform levels in the Ganga and Yamuna were alarmingly high. Coliform bacteria, which are indicators of faecal contamination, were found in levels that far exceeded safe limits. Recent water quality tests showed that the coliform levels were alarmingly high. This means the water was not safe for bathing, posing a significant health risk to the millions of pilgrims who came to purify themselves. The test results were a stark reminder of the environmental challenges facing these sacred rivers. Despite efforts to clean the Ganga and Yamuna, pollution levels remained dangerously high. This means the water was not safe for bathing, so is the clean water claim a myth? The warning signs were clear, yet the faith of the devotees remained unshaken. So, is the clean water claim a myth? We have worked tirelessly to ensure the purity of the Ganga. Government officials and environmentalists have been engaged in a relentless battle to restore the river's health. We have worked tirelessly to ensure the purity of the Ganga. The water is absolutely safe for pilgrims, they claim. But the UP Pollution Control Board's data contradicts independent reports. The water is absolutely safe for pilgrims. The UP Pollution Control Board's data contradicts independent reports. This raises serious concerns about the authenticity of their claims. This raises serious concerns about the authenticity of their claims. Our tests show high levels of pollutants, including industrial waste and sewage. The reality is far more complex than the official narrative suggests. The UP Pollution Control Board's data contradicts independent reports. This raises serious concerns about the authenticity of their claims. Our tests show high levels of pollutants, including industrial waste and sewage. While the water may appear clean, it doesn't mean it's safe for health. The pollutants are often invisible to the naked eye lurking beneath the surface. Our tests show high levels of pollutants, including industrial waste and sewage. While the water may appear clean, it doesn't mean it's safe for health, including industrial waste and sewage. While the water may appear clean, it doesn't mean it's safe for health. Faith is powerful and millions continue to trust in the river's divine purity. While the water may appear clean, it doesn't mean it's safe for health. Faith is powerful and millions continue to trust in the river's divine purity. But science presents a different picture. It doesn't mean it's safe for health. Faith is powerful and millions continue to trust in the river's divine purity. But science presents a different picture. Is the devotion of the people being exploited for political and religious gains? Faith is powerful and millions continue to trust in the river's divine purity. But science presents a different picture. Is the devotion of the people being exploited for political and religious gains? Or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? And millions continue to trust in the river's divine purity. But science presents a different picture.
Is the devotion of the people being exploited for political and religious gains, or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? But science presents a different picture. Is the devotion of the people being exploited for political and religious gains, or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? The truth, like the river itself, flows between faith and fact. Is the devotion of the people being exploited for political and religious gains? Or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? The truth, like the river itself, flows between faith and fact. For political and religious gains, or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? The truth, like the river itself, flows between faith and fact. The question remains, was the water at the Sangam truly clean, or was it just an illusion? Or is the government truly making progress in cleaning the Ganga? The truth, like the river itself, flows between faith and fact. The question remains, was the water at the Sangam truly clean, or was it just an illusion? The truth, like the river itself, flows between faith and fact. The question remains, was the water at the Sangam truly clean, or was it just an illusion? Flows between faith and fact. The question remains, was the water at the Sangam truly clean or was it just an illusion? The question remains, was the water at the Sangam truly clean or was it just an illusion? The answer may lie in the balance between our reverence for tradition and our responsibility to protect the environment. Truly clean or was it just an illusion? The answer may lie in the balance between our reverence for tradition and our responsibility to protect the environment.